Item number two is discussion of establishment of marketing funds in the amount of $50,000 from the electric franchise fee funds for FY 2011. This is basically we're, we're uh, renewing the agreement that we had in place last year uh, to provide uh, a set aside, if you will, for marketing. Um, things like creation and printing of the Whiting Aviation Park brochure, as well as uh, signs for the entrances to our various industrial parks. Uh, we're lacking in some signage right now, and this will allow uh, the design and construction of the signage for uh, Whiting Aviation Park and Northwest Florida Industrial Park. Chairman, Mr. Salt. If I might, uh, I'd like to also add uh, military promotion as well. That is part of marketing. That'll be determined by team staff. Okay. And also, just to note, any expenditures would require approval of the county administrator, and uh, I believe it's thousand dollars would require approval of the board prior to making those expenditures. Unless there's any other discussion, I would recommend we move this item to Thursday's agenda without objection. Hearing none, it's moved. And item three is discussion of acceptance of deeds to property for signage for the Northwest Florida Industrial Park at I-10. In your agenda package, you have um, some surveys delineating uh, the areas where signage is proposed for the uh, Northwest Florida Industrial Park at I-10. And it's my understanding there's no consideration being paid for any of these deeded parcels. This will just allow us to have uh, signage out there on the roadway. So unless there's any discussion, I recommend we move this item to Thursday's agenda without objection. Very none. It's moved. Mr. Chairman, that concludes my report. Good, Mr. Good morning. Uh, Jerry Cooey, 6049 Arnie's Way. Uh, you, you sped right by number two there. So let me, let me, let me get back to it. A uh, couple questions since we have a representative from team here. Um, um, a while back, we extended $200,000 for... Um, marketing funds, per se, uh, to Jane Birdwell. And I was wondering if we could get a quick report on, did we spend the entire 200000 to Ms. Birdwell? How did that go? Then. Yes, sir. If you all remember, that was the creation of the Gulf Coast Airspace and Defense Coalition website. We spent the 200000 from our county, a study on workforce development for the um, aerospace and defense industry was done by Scamby County, so that it was included in. And we are now working with Okaloosa County to look at doing some special meetings that are associated with what's coming out of uh, the leads generated by that website. So, uh, yes, we are still using it, still moving it ahead. And, in fact, uh, we have a meeting tomorrow with um, one of the EADS representatives. So. If there's anything specific, I don't mind answering it. Did all of it go to Jane Birdwell, or is team still holding some of that? Team has none of that. No, it it all went to um, Birdwell. Okay, thanks. Um, uh, along with the, um, since we're talking about marketing, um, are we going to, uh, I've noticed in recent past, we have had um, private property owned by Mr. Pullum being promoted by Team Santa Rosa. And I'm just curious if we're going to continue that process. I sure hope so. We're not in the land sales business, we're in the job creation business, and we are looking to promote any type of industrial property in Santa Rosa County to bring new industries in. And with respect especially to the Northwest Florida Industrial Park, we could do the 88, 90 acres that the county had purchased, or we can do that, plus the piece that Mr. Pullum owns, plus the piece that Vixen Navarre owns that goes all the way up to the um, interstate. And now we've got 250 acres zoned industrial there at the intersection of I-10 and 87. And we believe that that entire property makes a much better park than just the 88 acres of the county. We believe that probably the 88 acres of the county is going to be the first to go because of the fact that you as the commissioner are able to 
devote de uh, incentives to that property where you're not in putting incentives with the privately owned property. But yes, we are actually creating flyers for any of the industrial buildings that are vacant right now and any other industrial sites and trying to push those out so that when a company comes here or we get a request for information on product, we have got the best package that we can put together. Thank you. So now I will raise my objection to that. I don't believe that we're going to be um, promoting Mr. Cole's business. I don't believe we're going to be promoting your business, for example, with the use of taxpayer money. Um, this is, uh, I've brought this issue up before. Um, I'm quite certain that there are many citizens in Santa Rosa County that have a piece of real estate that they would love to be marketed at no cost to them. I have a serious problem with this. I don't think I'm the only one who has a problem with this. It is not fair for a private citizen to use taxpayers' dollars to promote private real estate that he owns. To be quite honest with you, this private individual, if he wants to promote his property, I would suggest he hire a PR firm and buy some signs. Uh, I think it's wrong. I think it, it, it absolutely smacks in the face of all the taxpayers in Santa Rosa County for one individual to be pointed out here and say, well, we're going to promote his property. Well, who is he? He's a private citizen who owns private property, and he should not get any any special attention over anybody else in Santa Rosa County. And, and I'm going to have to say that as, as, a, as a Board of County Commissioners, if you're not prepared to promote everyone's piece of property that wants to sell it, I don't think you need to promote this one, to be quite honest with you. I, I mean, this is, this is a serious issue here. How, how do you decide that you're going to promote this guy's property? I, I've got some property. I, I know Mr. Williamson, Commissioner Williamson's got some property. We're not going to promote that because Commissioner Williamson knows that the county, it's not the county's job to promote the private sales of private property. And I really think this board needs to take a long, hard look at this before they jump in and, ex and use taxpayer dollars to promote a private individual's private real estate holdings. I think there's a there's a major legal issue here. It, it, it's not personal. I, I, I'm not upset with that individual. But what I am going to say that if this county is not prepared to promote everybody's real estate, then we shouldn't be promoting this man's real estate. Plain and simple. And I, and I hope you'll think long, long and hard about that. Uh, we, 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 we've had a a long series here in the, in the purchase of the Pullman property and, and, and all the things that we seem to do to help this individual. Well, there's probably a lot of taxpayers in this county would like to know when you when you going to reach out and help them. When are you going to have a staff of five people promoting stuff, something for them? When are you going to help them? You know, it's not fair. It's an issue of fairness here. Private individuals who own private real estate need to handle their own business and not one red penny of taxpayer money needs to be spent for that. And I appreciate your time. Mr. Cole, Mr. Chairman, Jerry, I, I want to set the record straight. We're not promoting a single individual's property. There's other properties out there. While 84 was empty, they were promoting that. When the old uh, Russell plant was empty, they promoted that, the Clearwire, the trailer manufacturer has been promoted through team, the current building that's out there that's for sale is being promoted. Uh, you make it sound like we've targeted one person, and the difference in my property, my business, Commissioner Lynchard's business, Commissioner Williamson's business, they are businesses that are promoted through Chambers of Commerce. They're businesses, not industrial. When you go to industrial, you're going to something different, and that's our Economic Development Council's job, is to promote industrial use. Now, people 
if somebody come to me or come to a team that owns 50 acres south of the Whiting Aviation Park and said, we want to list that as industrial, we want to get it come to the board and get it changed to industrial use and put it on the map as industrial property, the team would put it right on the map with the rest of them. So, you know, to say that we're targeting or picked out one person to help individually, I think it's an unfair statement. Yeah. If, if uh, say, if Anderson Columbia out there went out of business, decided they're going to move, close up shop, went, go somewhere else, we would promote that particular piece of property. When Moldex went out, there was promotions to get people into the Moldex building. We don't own that anymore as a county. But we want that park filled. We want. We don't want to see empty buildings sitting there. We're we're going to promote everybody we can in in an industrial area in an industrial park. But to ask the team to go out and do the work that the chambers of commerce should be doing, that's where the dividing line is. Well, you know, I'll just have to ask the question. And and, and Ms. Jones, welcome. I, this is the first time I've been here since you've been here. So. Um, I'll just state it again. It is improper to use taxpayer money to promote the private real estate holdings of a private citizen. All the examples you gave was somebody who's gone out of business where there's a, where there's a building there, where there's, some where there's some infrastructure there. This individual has had property for sale forever. He's not been able to sell it. He somehow managed to convince us to pay $3.2 million to buy part of his property, and now we're going to use taxpayer money to help continue to promote his property. Okay? And, and <clears throat> there's five commissioners here. You can all make up your mind, but I think you need to look at it very, very carefully before you promote a private individual's private real estate holdings. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, we can tell Lava Lakes and Geo that they're not welcome in San Jose County. Here's your call. Give me Salter. Just another comment. If you look out at uh, in the Pace area uh, around the old Sterling Fiber Plant, uh, I know the team and, and the county promotes that heavily. And it's not just the plant site itself. I think there's about a thousand acres out there that was just recently rezoned. So we promote the old plant. We also promote that thousand acres for additional industrial expansion as well. So there are numerous uh, examples of where Team Santa Rosa uh, and the county promote job creation throughout Santa Rosa County. Anyone else? And I, I would have a problem with it if it were specifically promoting a single individual or if we were, were giving some sort of special consideration to an individual, but since it's, again, as, as has been stated, this is open to basically any any industrial property in the county. I think that, that's the distinction and the dividing line that, that I see. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am your very patriotic Jerry Cooey. I am Deborah Nelson. <laughs> and how are you? Also patriotic. You are. Well, that's good. That's it's not uh... noticeable today. <laughs> well, you, you, or any you other know... Day. Uh, anytime I see any type of red, white, and blue shirt, you know, it's got to come to my house. So, right. You know, that's, that's, that's just a thing. I have, for many, many years, I get an opportunity to grab a patriotic shirt. I'm going to show my colors. Right. So, uh, well, folks, uh, wel welcome again to uh, Santa Rosa Week TV. Um, it's just a labor of love here in our little organization. Well, that was quite the commission meeting. That was well, entertaining. Well, well it was. Um, uh, folks, what, what you watched was a recent uh, actual county commission meeting. And, you know, look, I'm just the guy who um, I, I, I just I, I don't understand the, the magnetism towards the Pullum, the Pullum industrial stuff, and let's take a moment to go. Should over. we say? Let's say the Pullum dynasty. Yeah, let's let. 